Hello, everyone, and welcome to the latest VMware Greenplum product update. I'm Jacques Eistock. I am in charge of the field for sales and pre-sales, and I'm joined by my two colleagues here. Ivan? Yeah, hey, it's Ivan Novik, and also joined by Divya Barkov. Um, so just before we get started on this, I want to mention the disclaimer, which comes with all high-tech future announcements. Um, we will be talking about amazing things that are happening in the future for Greenplum. We are working really hard and building many new capabilities, so, but of course, um, there is a legal disclaimer as far as what's coming. And uh, our plan is essentially a quarterly release of new capabilities on Greenplum 6. So every 90 days, you're getting a big bundle of, of, of cool new features and capabilities, performance enhancements, and, and improvements to the Greenplum product. And then at the same time, that we're working on the Greenplum 6 track, we're also working on the Greenplum 7 track, which is planned for, for next year, that we can bring the Greenplum 12, the Postgres 12 engine into Greenplum version 7. So with that, I'd like to turn it over to Divya Bargov to introduce herself and what's new. Hey everyone, I'm Divya and I'm uh, the engineering leader for the Greenplum. And I'm very excited to announce that 621 was released last week, and we're going to take you through some of the exciting features of 621 in the next slide. So first and foremost, 621 included a green plum to green plum uh, capability. Ivan, you want to talk a little bit more about green yeah, plum I mean, to green, green plum? plum to, green plum to green plum, it's the multi-cluster solution. It allows you to have um, queries that are segment parallel MPP. So you can have like two clusters or three clusters or four clusters. And without sharing, without um, copying data, you can share the data between the clusters and get high speed query access. So you can create this grid, a huge grid of clusters and have even more scalability than you ever had before. So effectively, if I was to replay that back, we've always, Greenplum itself has always been able to connect to anything, including our Greenplum. But what you and Divya and the team have done is allow us to do that in parallel to scale it and to know that the green plums that are being queried are there, i.e. green plum aware, green plums are green plum. Right. There's actually a new parallel cursor, which allows for ACID compliant and consistent um, access to the segments in the second cluster when querying it from the first cluster. So when you you know, create a connection from cluster one to cluster two, you're not just getting, you know, um, you're getting the proper data from a point in time in the second cluster, but still querying it directly to the segments, even if they're different size clusters. That's awesome. What else do you have? Disk quotas. Now this has been a feature that a lot of our customers have asked for for a while. And, and we've had the capability of, of actually limiting users and how much space they use with one, very important exception. When I start running a query, uh, we don't check those disk quotas normally until after those queries are done. Isn't that right, Divya? That's right. Yes. That's right. And, and so one now, thing I want what, what does this come with? I wanted to also mention that for both these features, the green plum to green plum and disk quota, we also have like demo videos in the YouTube. So you should uh, make sure to go watch those as well. Awesome. That's right. The, so, the so, but, quota, but the big change, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, no, I was going to say the, the thing that, that's cool about the new disk quotas are the hard limit, right? So um, basically instantaneously within a large transaction, if somebody's trying to insert data, you'll never, the transaction will stop in the middle if they try and load more data than they're allowed. So it really allows TBAs to have better control over large environments um, than they've ever had before in Greenplum. Awesome. And I understand we're also continuing uh, to upgrade our connection pooler, PG Bouncer. Can we talk a little bit about that? Yeah, yeah, the PG Bouncer, it's, it's obviously it's from open source. And so we have rebuilt and, and repackaged the latest versions, but also integrated it with the new authentication protocols, which you'll hear about shortly here. Um, so it can seamlessly work with, um, with the Scram SHA-256, which we'll talk about and allow for very secure uh, access through PG Bouncer connection pooling. 
Awesome. And I'll say again, I think every green plum uh, needs a connection floor. Absolutely. Um, and then going through to the, the next column here on the port usage scalability. So we've enabled, um, you know, we're always thinking about scalability in all terms, not just data size, but um, also, you know, number of users and really scaling every dimension, number of queries per day. This is a enhancement that allows us to more efficiently use the ports that we use. So especially, you know, when you look at cloud environments, the, the networking is not as traditional. And so we, we have better scalability of how we manage the ports and um, can, can have for um, essentially, you know, less chatty systems with the latest green plum than we've ever had as well. And for, for those of you at home who don't quite uh, follow port usage, you know, ports are, are essentially doorways that the operating system uh, opens up and allows for all of our uh, segments, all of our, our internals to talk to each other. Right. Divya, do you want to talk about PostGIS? Sure. Um, so PostGIS is our geospatial library, and we have uh, upgraded the PostGIS to include the latest um, geos version. And that brings several improvements, uh, which include like a few um, functions, like uh, you know, to clip by box to the and some Voroline uh, lines and polygons and a uh, lot of more functions. And uh, it also uh, has had several performance improvements uh, for the, uh, between the two versions. So this has been a big upgrade upgrade for PostGIS. For those of uh, people at home who don't know what PostGIS is, uh, could you give a brief little blurb? Yeah, sure. The um, PostGIS is the geospatial enabler for database. So it turns a regular relational database into a geo database. It allows you to have geography data types, geography functions, and do queries with geography predicates. So now with the latest version, you've got even more capability. That is awesome. And then Scra Scramshot 256, which I referred to in PG Bouncer, because of course PG Bouncer also supports this authentication. It's a new 256-bit um, 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 hashing algorithm enabled in Greenplum, which was backported from Postgres 10 which allows for password authentication to have more security bits and to protect against um, security incidents um, that that's you would awesome. get from that's, yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Uh, especially as more and more users of Greenplum continue to put more and more data into Greenplum, making sure that we're up to date with the latest on uh, secure connections is obviously super important. Yep, yep. And we have the mirrorless. Uh, so we have certified all these days we uh, ran Greenplum with mirrors. For virtual environments, we have now certified Greenplum to work on a mirrorless environment. Ivan, do you want to talk some things that right. come with this? So, right. So we had to change our, our fault probing algorithms. And into the virtual machine images, now we have um, service daemons that monitor the age, monitor the green plum segments. And essentially you can run a green plum cluster with only primaries, you don't need mirrors. And what that does practically speaking in a virtual environment or in a environment with a shared storage is allows you to, to save half of the storage capacity, which is a lot of resource and a lot of money on storage because you're only storing primary data and then relying on your, your um, vSAN or your, your VXFlex or your, your ScaleIO or your, your EMC or whatever storage you have to provide the redundancy and VMware, vSphere to provide the, the HA. That's amazing. I mean, that literally takes ROI for our existing customers you know, to the next level. Yep. Right. And uh, we introduced a new module called GP Percentile Ag. And so when you add this extension, uh, it has an improved query optimizer uh, performance for ordered set aggregate functions. Um, things like percentile continuous or percentile discrete and median, all these things have uh, much better performance. And these are particularly uh, useful for some Madlib functions, which use them extensively. Nice. And, and last, uh, but, not last but not the least, yes, uh, we have uh, 
several improvements done in our support tool, GPMT, uh, so to extract the logs for, for PXF and upgrade and several other tools and improve the collection of storage artifacts. And so this is uh, going to improve our support lifecycle. Awesome. That's awesome. So I, hope, I think all of our I customers guys, want to hear that. So I hope you guys see the power that we're bringing in 21, um, all the new capabilities and the, the three of us and the all of the people working both at VMware and also in the Greenfield community. Thank you for building this release and putting in your contributions. And I'm sure we're going to have many more exciting things to announce later this year and as we keep going and, and building out the product. Um, so thanks, everybody. And until Thank the next time. All.